the masjid was built for the immigrant uh, community, definitely. Some masajid were able to transition to deal with second generation. Some, third generation, will not be able to survive if we keep running the masjid the way we run it right now. When I think of the masjid today and I think about what kind of key words does it evoke within me, you know, I, I think about um, places that are insularized. I think about places that are not very welcoming. I think about places that don't have a certain warmth to them or a certain kind of welcoming attitude. 90% of Imams in the United States are immigrants. And I don't think the Imams really understand what America is all about. The knowledge that Imams should inquire is not only the knowledge of the Quran and the Sunnah, but it's about the knowledge how to apply those Quran and Sunnah in our own society. Like an Muslim was asking me about like why are women treated like dogs in our mosque? And I, I had to inquire like what do you mean and how are dogs treated? It was like in between like Asr and Maghrib and I was just in a rush. I had to go, I had to pray Asr and go. All of a sudden, after I say Allahu Akbar, see like hand and like foot like coming in front of me and some like one of like the guys who was running the masjid, he like literally interrupted my prayer and he said, you can't pray here. I came in 1969 and uh, I was one of the founders of the first Islamic center in the East Coast, which is the Islamic center of Jersey City. كان هذا المركز يمتلئ عن آخرة وكان حتى عن آخرة لي أن أنه كان هناك الناس يصلون على السلم وتجد يعني صفا كاملة في صلاة الفجر وفي صلاة العشاء أقل من خمسة عشرين قليلا للأسف يعني. The issue of youth. Okay. How many percentage of our young generations are coming to the masjid? I've given up on that thing, to be honest. It's too hard and too emotionally um, like painful. Every time I try to get back into a masjid, it's just always met with like a lot of opposition. You go to the masjid, so many masjid, they speak their own native language. Whether it's Arabic, Bangladeshi, Urdu, Turkish, and our children, you know, having a hard time understanding this message. Where is the young generation? Say so they are moving away and they are not coming back.